The truth about flat earthers is that they are brought up to this level on purpose, not by fans of flat earth, but by the perpetuators of things more evil than flat earth. By the perpetuators that want to use a flat earther to associate any person who questions those actions more evil than flat earth, and to use that label to hold critics back and to press them back and keep them at bay. When you're labeled a whack job, the majority tend to step back. When you question how thousands of people could simultaneously conspire to do an evil act, when you look at news stories that suddenly disappear from the media, it's easy to see that not only thousands, but tens of thousands of people can be manipulated into covering something up. Don't question yourself about that. Listen to what Sylvia from New Earth says about flat earthers. By distracting people's attention from actual physical experiments that should be conducted and are being conducted towards establishing the truth. But I don't think this is the main goal of the flat earth movement nowadays. Its main purpose is absolutely different. The problem is that many people started getting aware of the hoaxes of NASA and uh, International Space Station and other space actually scam missions. We don't know if they're sending anything to space or what is going on in these programs whatsoever. The only thing we know is that uh, the images that they are selling us are computer generated while they lie to us that they are from space, so obviously they are hiding something. That is why they are trying to dress all that, to cover it like sandwich, with the most dumb nonsense you can imagine, so that people will start associating these two things and will start making this connection in their minds. Oh, the NASA scam and the flat earth. So when people start discussing the space scams, the association with the flat earth nonsense will arise and people will think it is all nonsense. That's what it is all about.